is right hey, now at present up, the best so, we have to offer at 145 pounds, is, the undisputed is the featherweight sim. king, Alexander uh, Volkanovsky. And you want to... I'm actually going to turn down the, the volume here a touch. Uh, da, da, da. Let's get here. Game volume down. Talk about All right. championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at so, Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against I am not playing Davis. either of these guys. This is just a simulation because this is a UFC goal. big and interesting fight coming up. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of the Islam Makhchev versus Alex. Alex the great Volkanovski. And I think now I have to look it up. Here because Akchev's right, coming off a pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. He subbed Charles Dubron Solivera. Now I feel like right in your face. He the interesting forward. thing he about this, clinch, about that fight though, is he actually leg. stunned Oliveira on the feet, um, and that like was not expected. Getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is so, going to finish it. It'll be interesting. He his feet um, but Volkanovski beat Brian Ortega, two, to who had him in a, like a pretty deep distance, uh, guillotine show a few fights ago. Fight and Volkanovski just like. I mean, and now he's, he's built, right? He's a short guy, and he stuffs takedowns like none other. Like, he's a ridiculous athlete. Rugby background. And dude is lightning on the feet. Like, he is lightning. He's a tremendous boxer. Ridiculous defense. I mean, he's beat Max Holloway twice. That's absurd. One loss. Holloway beat Jose Aldo twice. That was absurd. And then Alex has come in and beat him twice. So it's pretty ridiculous. And Makachev looked amazing in his last fight, but <clears throat> he hasn't fought a lot of guys. I mean, Charles Oliveira is obviously no joke at all. He's the champ. But before that, Bobby Green, Dan Hooker, Thiago Moises, Drew Dober, Davi Ramos. And, you know, it's not, not murderer's row. <clears throat> but, you should know, if a guy is from Dagestan, <laughs> like, freaking watch out. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC. Now here, Alex. Vegas takedown. I don't see that happening. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home, Vegas is going for a takedown. Yep, trying to get on top. Some of the biggest UFC events ever. This might happen in the in the fight. I don't know. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights. In history, posture up, ground and pound. We're not landing line. anything. Oh, make your mark on the <clears throat> oh, oh, oh Alex stunning him on the feet. This this could happen. He's gonna regain composure. Oh, oh gosh, down. he's down again now. Oh, oh, Volk is picking him apart. Oh, he's he oh. oh, oh, tripping. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Alex is nice remarkably the compact nice. and fast with his hands. Nice kick. So they could almost say the same thing about Makachev when strikes. we saw him against Oliveira. Now, this is pretty interesting from the game. It doesn't always happen right, so be on the in a way that makes perfect sense. But what happens generally does make sense from an overall standpoint. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head. He's got him in, in side control here. Oh. Oh. He's got the Just arm pin. Two minutes to go in the round. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. 
Look for him to transition yeah, Alex, to Alex has a very good submission defense. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch. And this might just be a matter of time. <laughs> wow. Let's see. It is, Side control now, and certainly I, mean, I would his, think more offensive options. I don't know what the, the game has it, but his submission defense has to be super high. You can just go to a based on what we've seen. He's also pretty good at getting up. I mean, he took a little damage here. I don't know if he'd be on the ground this much in real life. I don't know, but I could be totally wrong. Smokchev is a great wrestler. But I don't see Alex getting held down this long against him. Well, you know, I don't like athlete. the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell yep, he's been in the at some point in his life with the way that he So whose round is that? So I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Islam was rocked midway through that round. But he had two takedowns and a bunch of well, control we'll time, right? Back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. Let's skip through it. Let's keep this faster. Ready to fight. <clears throat> Round two here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he heard a battle with Jeff. Whoa. I mean, this... This will I'd be very surprised to see. Although, dirty boxing, clinch is probably favoring Makachev. I just don't see him being able to control Volk's movement and positioning that much as he's doing right now in the game. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 140 He's going to isolate an arm again. If his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game oh, plan. I, see, I don't think he would go back out. into half guard from that he position. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle. Especially he's against the submission artist. To get pressure on the choke. Gonna be out. And he's out. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly oh, half guard. when to hold. And it's allowing oh, back to full really guard. The back to half guard. The There's a song there, They're right? both no when landing. Holding, no no when to hold him, yeah, absolutely. Can he, is he? Oh. Posturing up now. Oh, oh now full mount. About to start. Right, well, he throw? Oh, back to half guard. DC, but you <coughs> back to full guard. Hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom. He is bottom, stuck on his back the whole his time. Activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Volkanovs. <clears throat> All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hit the half escape, guard. DC. Can he slip out? Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. <clears throat> oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel Jeez. good. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Pretty impressive. Lands a strike now from the by this nice game. There by Volko. Like I said, not everything it makes exact sense in reality, but how it plays out tends to make a lot of sense. The transitions and stuff, and how you have to think about it makes sense. But, uh, it just, the way it visually plays out, sometimes you're like, that wouldn't happen. Goodness gracious, going for a triangle again. It really could happen like this. But I guarantee you, on the feet, Submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe I to do say not think well, not Volkanovsky is going to be that easy to pin down on the feet. We're gonna fight on, not to gentlemen. land on, but like to. <clears throat> I think he's going to be much faster than he is in the game. I don't think he's going to get stuck up against the fence or, you know, in a clinch. He's also shorter and he's bald, so I feel like you can't get a good 
like tie clinch on the you know the back of his head. He's just gonna slip out of it. Dude is a ridiculous athlete. I don't think he would get stuck like this. I don't think he'll get tossed that easy. I think maybe he'll get taken down. <clears throat> if Makachev is like Khabib, he'll get one leg and he'll just keep going and going and going for the takedown until he can get you. So that he can land that oh, he's left hand. But I don't think he's going to get hip tossed like that from the clinch in, in real life. This is a really interesting way they have this oh, nice. mission defense uh, attack set up. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Now, I could be totally wrong. I really DC, do not do? think Makachev is going to, to keep Volk on the ground for entire rounds at a time. Just my opinion. He got reversed. <clears throat> I also don't think this will happen. <laughs> I think Volk will go right to the feet. Just misses there with the left. Looking for the takedown, he gets it. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. Man, I really want to see how the stand up will play out. I'm kind of sick of oh, man. I sick of a billion takedowns. This is the most dominant position in all the fighting. Take it down. That's likely. If he gets up, he grabs the leg. Gets up, grabs the leg. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art. I really wanted to see what would play out on the feet, sure though. Every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He if Volk can hip that, escape out of here, land, he has more stamina. He feel well, any time you are in a ground uh, no, not by situation with similar. this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. I mean, the well, decision is going to Makachev to right now, guaranteed. Like an you cannot stay <clears> in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. And I really thought the game would favor Volk. Gotta be careful, Armbar. I mean, look, let's let's look. And he's out. Alex. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight! It, yes, and it would be a five-round fight, but let's... Right, let's we talked about how DC, they who Makachev has beaten. Tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch Volk one of the is 25 best one. in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion... He's beat he's Max Holloway, a very easy decision. Korean Zombie. Then he beat... We're going back the to this. Brian Ortega, Max Holloway, Max Holloway. Jose Aldo, Chad Mendez, Darren Elkins, Jeremy Kennedy, and then it's not as many. Who's it going to be? Yeah. Now the interesting thing about that is not a lot of wrestlers. You go back to Chad Mendez in 2018, second round TKO. Mendez is a pretty good wrestler, but Max is not a wrestler. Ortega is not a wrestler. Chan Sung Jung, the Korean zombie, not a wrestler. But if you go watch that fight, Volkanovski looked invincible. So the game says Makachev wins. I don't think he wins. I don't think he's proven enough yet. Um, he looked great against Oliveira. But I'm not ready to say uh, Volk is, is done at this point. Dude is just ridiculous. We'll see if I'm wrong. Uh, that fight. That fight is on February 11th on UFC 284. Go watch it.